This video is about cost tabs in Access. You can compare them more or less with pivot tables in Excel, but they are query based. They are queries that search in the tables constantly each time you open them. This database that I'm using is very simple. If I'm going to show you the relationships between them, you will see we have four tables, customers, orders, items and line items. One customer can have many orders, orders have items in it, but one item can be in many orders and one order can have many items. So we need a junction table on the many sides, which is called the table line items. Based on that database structure, we can create cross tab queries. Here is the first one. You see, it looks a little bit like a pivot table. We split per year and per month in the rows and the columns and we calculate what were the sales in that year and that month. A cost tab query. Let's go to the design part of the query. Uh, how did we make this a cost tab query? By clicking on cross tab tab and that inserts a total row and a cross tab row. The cross tab row regulates that this field is in the column, the month field is in the rows, and the calculations are values. So we group by year, we group by month, yearly earnings, and we make that an expression. Let me show you what the first field is like. I'm going to zoom in. We gave that field the name year because of the colon. After year, it becomes the name of the new field. Then I use the date part function. The date part function allows you to take from a certain date in the field order date a specific part. In this case, y, 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 that means I want the year part. Double quotes m, double quotes gives me the month part. w gives me the week part. And then we made sure that we group by year and we store it in the column heading. Then I created another field that I didn't give a name. I took the date part of order date, but this time the month, and we group it by. Then in the third field, we are going to call it month colon. We took the date part function again of the order date, but this time with double quotes m double quotes. And we took the month name of that date part. So 1 is January, 2 is February. If I hadn't done the second field, which I did not name, then the order would be alphabetical. So January would not be 1. So by sorting first by the month 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I get the month names in the order of January, February, March. And then finally a fourth column, that is a calculation, the yearly earnings colon, we multiply unit price with the quantity and we sum all those individual calculations. Because the sum operation is already done in the formula, the total row here is going to be expression. You have to put something in there. If you had not done sum here, but only the multiplication, then you could make this a sum total option. And we store that in the, val in the value. So the end result is what I just showed you. The second one looks like this. These are the sales reps. These were the years and we see how much FLW made every year. The idea is the same again. Let's go to the design view. These were the three tables we need in that calculation. The first one is very well known by now. You take the date part of the order date, the year part, and call that field year colon space. Okay. Make it group by 
and let's uh, store it in the column heading. The sales reps, we don't have to do any operation. We group by and we put it in the row heading. The sales rep comes from the table order. And then finally, what is the amount they did? So I multiply quantity by unit price and sum all those individual calculations. And I call the field amount colon space. Because the sum operation is done here already, we have to set this to expression. Otherwise, you could have set it to sum, but then don't sum in the amount field. So I am making it an expression, and it's going to the value field. And this is the end result. One more. In this case, we took the last two years in the database, 96 and 97, and we calculated the difference. Did FLW as a sales rep go up or down? HDN went down during those two years. This is not as simple as you think. First of all, this looks like a cost tab query, correct? Mm, yes and no, but the problem in a cost tab query is that you can only put here in the column headings years, but I put a difference in there. So in other words, this is not a cost tab query anymore. What is it? It is a regular query. Notice that the cost tab is not clicked on. I don't have the two lines total and cost setting, cost tab setting. But I used the cost tab query in order to get this in here. It is important to realize that. So we have to make sure that when you add that option here, you, you should not be in the table section, but in the query section. And I took the query year sales per rep. I added the sales rep field to here and only 96 and 97. So if I didn't have this column, it would look like a regular cross tab query. Though this is not a cross tab, it is based on a cross tab query. And I only took the last two years. But I added a new field. I can because this is a regular query that I call difference colon space. I took the field name of 1997 minus the field name of 1996. And I don't have to do any operation anymore here. I get immediately the end result. But you realize this is not a cost tab query anymore. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There is much more you need to know. Access is not a very user-friendly program because it's a database system and databases are complicated. So you, you need to know much more. So, so I developed for you a CD-ROM, very rich. It has anything you can ever dream of in Access. It has more than 1500 slides and you can find that CD-ROM at genesispc.com